This small altcoin has a ton of potential. You do not want to miss out. Go ahead and like and subscribe to the video and we'll dive right into it. So the coin I'm talking about today is going to be over Veracity, V-R-A. It's listed on a few different ones, uh, Qcoin, Gate.io, uh, Uniswaps, and things like that. However, it has a ton of potential, guys. Look at this. It is ranked 422 out of all cryptocurrencies. It only has $191 million, which although it may sound like a lot, there's actually a ton of potential for this chart. Just to give you an idea, if you go to CoinMarketCap, Bitcoin has $886 billion in the market, right? And not only that, if you scroll down, just to be on the front page, you're going to have to have around a billion dollars in market cap right now. So we have 10x to go just because, just before we get to the front page of crypto uh, or coin market cap or the top 100 altcoins. All right, ton of potential. So now that we have the potential out of the way, let's go and look at why I specifically think that Verocity has a lot of it so on this chart you can see this is the uh the the weekly chart on kucoin the first thing i want to discuss is the overall market structure this market structure is just absolutely just gorgeous look at this very gradual or look at this increase of volume as it goes up and then also we have a massive decrease in volume as we go down into now we are rounding around with an increase in volume this is what you want to see for a corrective structure so this was an impulsive movement corrective structure down and now we are starting to round and as long as the volume keeps picking up we will keep reclaiming levels and we're gonna have a lot of potential on this coin now the next thing we'll talk about on this actual uh, on the tether pairing or the us dollar pairing is going to be this right here guys this is the 200 moving average and if you've been involved in my raven coin or in my ach coin or any of those guys the 200 is extremely important okay just to show you how important this is let's go to h bar okay h bar is a great example we're going to go down here we had the 200 moving average we've been messing around with it for so long couldn't get above it and just hey look what happened pop right to the upside right this is what you want to see the 200 has a ton of potential another one to look at is xrp 200 moving average this blue line can up here tap it tap it tap it tap it tap it you guys see all of this interaction with it and when once we finally actually get above it xrp does what 50 percent so far at least from the from the lows right here Guys, the 200 is extremely important, and Verocity is now above it, which gives me a lot of confidence that we are going to see further upside on this coin. You guys can see we're back above it. Now, the next thing on this uh, U.S. Tether pairing is we have these two breakers, all right? Now, this break, this breaker has already been cleared, and it is already closed. You can tell that because this candle closed above this one. However, last week's candle did not close above this breaker. Well, we have one day and one hour, and as long as we stay above here, we have a massive, what, what we like to call a void from, oh, there we go, a void from here all the way up until at least this region right here. So uh, from 18 cents or 1.8 cents to around 20 or 2.6 cents, we have a massive void of potential for this to just explode upwards. And I'm loving how it's still consolidating, guys. This is still, it's not too late to get into it. Um, now let's go and dive into the BTC pairing because obviously we always check both, right? Um, you wanna make sure. However, Verocity also looks really good on the BTC pairing. So the first we're gonna look at, we're gonna zoom out. Look at the market structure, right? That's our pattern, that's how we do things. You guys can see, we have this massive increase in price and the volume was slowly increasing. That's what we wanna see. And on the decrease, we had a declining volume. Okay, this is the sign that we are losing strength in this drop and now we're rounding back up and we are starting to pick up, guys, on the volume. This is perfect. This is what we want to see. I really like this overall structure. Um, now, if you go into these two breakers, okay, the first one's right here. We got above it. We closed above it. This is now acting as a strong support. And if you zoom in, you can see it came down here, tested it. Let's go to the four hour. Look, came down here, tested it, and now we're continuing upwards. And you can see this is turning into some sort of a flagging motion right here. Now, the only concerning part of this entire chart is right here we have not gotten above this breaker. And I don't think we're going to in the next one day and one hour. It's possible, but it's unlikely. So 
This is the only part of contention that I'm having any hesitation with on this chart. But overall, it still looks really, really good. So um, overall, guys, I think we have a ton of potential here. Um, make sure you're in the Discord. I, I, I post on there all the time. I try to answer all the questions. So the Discord server is where you guys want to be at. I have my playlist that goes over all altcoins that I talk about. I even have a guide series, and I haven't talked about it much, but I have a guide series that I made way back when I first started doing YouTube where I discuss how I do my trading style, what to look for. It's like a trading 101. Make sure to check those things out, guys. So outside of that, have a fantastic night, and I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces, boys.